Hey everybody, it's GladderCat and it's time to play Outpost Engineer. We are just getting into the thick of the game here now. So we've completed our first satellite dish here and we're feeding it data cubes manually right now. We're manufacturing data cubes through our molecular analyzer, which right now we've only got one of those set up and it's processing copper. And every data cube it produces uh, takes more resource to analyze. So if it like right now, this says it's got 35 copper cubes and or 35 copper need to be analyzed before it can produce the next data cube. Once that data cube is produced, it's going to be a whole lot more copper required to get the next one. So it won't be 35. It'll be a lot more like 50 or 60 or something. So it's diminishing returns as you do the research. But there's, you know, multiple items, multiple resources in the game that you can um, be researching, I believe, at the same time. Now, we've only got the copper set up. That's the most basic thing we can do. And we, last episode, towards the end of last episode, we were setting up, we're trying to set up an automated production chain just for the tin plates, just to get another resource going. We put down our... Our, uh, we already had a miner here for tin. We put down an inserter and then we put down a furnace. And then we noticed that, boy, the furnace takes more than just the tin. It's going to need uh, coal as well to keep this thing running. We can't power this with electricity, to my knowledge. I'm pretty sure we can't. We may get a electric furnace later. And maybe that's the... Uh, the iron, well, no, that's an iron processing, I think, was a research that's going to become available through the satellite array, but we're doing tin. So anyway, our task right now is to get some coal routed into this furnace. We've got a coal deposit way up there, but we've got one more convenient over here. So what I'm thinking we may do is uh, build another miner just for just to done their coal miner to supply coal over to um, our furnace here. And we might want to start thinking about actually putting a belt down and then having a couple rows of miners that can actually feed a belt. So why don't we do that? We need at least, uh, let's start with one inserter and some more belts. And we're going to have to do this manually in the beginning. So let's see what we got. I may have an inserter on me. I do. Let's grab some more belts if we can. We need tin plates, and that's one of the things we're in the process of automating. But we don't have it automated yet. Let's pop some tin in here. We'll grab out that bronze bar, and we'll pop in some coal for fuel. I'm going to need to harvest coal manually just so that uh, the furnaces that we are... <laughs> Supplying manually can keep running. It's not optimal for sure. All right, let's grab some of this tin. We'll wait for this one to finish. All right, boom, boom. And let's go craft up some couple tin plates. Boom, boom, boom. And then we'll get some belts. Turn down the volume here. Uh, let's see, we're gonna need a lot of conveyors. Let's see what it gets me. I'm going to need more tin plates, more copper cables. I've got some copper bars. Let's go ahead and craft more cables while we're thinking about it. You can also grab some more copper here. And grab tin. And uh, let's see. Let's do tin plates. And let's do more wire since I've got a couple copper bars here. We'll smelt some more. So again, manually juggling things at the moment, but uh, they won't last forever. There's a tin plate. We get another belt. Looks like we have about four belts there. We're going to need a lot more than that. Let's go get it started. I'll show you what I was thinking of doing. I was thinking of putting, let's see, uh, let's see here, putting an inserter 
this way. And then running a belt uh, this direction kind of thing. And then we got to get all the way over there. So like I said, it's going to take, <laughs> it's going to take a lot of belts to get this coal routed, but we can do it. We can do it. All right. I need more belts. Let me look at the inventory. I have two more. I need to turn some of those into the these sloped conveyors. I'm gonna grab some more coal here. Make sure this guy keeps running. And maybe I can grab some uh ooh, we got 50. Nice. Let's go see if we can make some more conveyors. Uh, let's pound out this tin for now. Got a bunch. And what do we got going on here? Let's get rid of the tin. Let's pop in some coal. And let's do the copper. Since we've got the other smelter doing tin for us. I'm going to go fetch copper here while I'm thinking about it. And we need some... Let's see, downward, let's grab a couple of those. A couple upwards and a bunch of the regular ones. Then we're going to need at least one more inserter. Need three copper bars for that. Let's see how this guy's doing. We've got three. Let's grab ourselves another inserter. That'll be putting the coal into our furnace, hopefully. Well, yeah, we, we have a lot we want to automate here. We want to automate the, uh, <laughs> there's just a lot we need to automate. Here's a downward conveyor. Let's see if we can use that. Whoops, I didn't have it selected. Let's go to this one. I think that's going to do it. Now back to regulars. And pop that guy down there. That was a mistake. Let's pull that guy up. Down, down. Gotta go get more. Yeah, a little bit manual here in the beginning till we get things automated. I've said it before, and I'll probably say it several, <laughs> several more times because there's a lot of stuff we need to uh, automate. You know, our basic components here, the conveyors, the inserters, uh, power poles eventually and then uh these constructors we need to have those it'd probably be nice to automate those because we need those for our assemblers all right let's see where are we at we're doing more belts we need copper cable this guy is humming along on copper we'll keep him fed up fed grab that copper and let's bang out more cables that's another thing we'll want to automate and then also everything we automate, we're probably going to want to feed into a molecular analyzer as well. So we get the research in our data cubes going. Let's grab some more of these. Let's go see how many data cubes we have. Well, we got two more. Again, it's going to get slower and slower. We'll feed these two in. And I'm thinking rather than grabbing the splitter at five research points, I'm thinking we wait till we get to 10 and maybe grab this uh, iron processing. Because maybe some of the, maybe this could unlock something that uh, makes us not have to put down more of these furnaces. Right now, again, we're still trying to get belts. We want to belt the uh, coal into the furnace that's sitting on our tin plate production line. Let's see. We've got a few more belts. Let's go up there and do it. I'm going to fetch coal first. Grab some of this. And then let's see if we can get this guy. We're just going to go in a... Of a squared off fashion. Let's see if we can get these guys 
over there. Now this one, let's see if I can, what can I use to kind of build a platform? Should I grab more rocks? All right, concrete block takes rocks. I can use four stones to craft a rock, I see. Let's craft a rock. I just want to see if that will work as a platform building block. Because I think the rocks are, or those little stones are renewable. Let's go to inventory and drop one of these guys on here. Let's just see, will it? Yeah, that's going to help. That's another thing we need to automate. Let's, uh, do we do that? Let's see if we can place our belt. We need at least one more coming this way, I think. And then, yeah, I'd love to fill that in with rocks. I guess we can't. Let's go to the inventory. Do I have some, I have some upslope conveyors. Let's do that here and then uh how's that gonna work we need an insert we're gonna need an inserter there because i'm thinking of putting the coal in from the front here so let's drop this inserter down and that one's gonna go probably like this and then we need a belt Probably on level ground. Like that. And then we need the one that slopes up. Boom. Oopsie, boom. Right there. Then some more of these. How many do I have? I don't think I have any. Do I have any more left? Let's go over there. Yep. I want to go in that direction, that direction. All right, now we're out. We need to get more. Let's go ahead and harvest, manually harvest from our mines here for a little bit longer, for a ways longer, I should say. We've got at least some iron or tin being made here. Let's uh, pop in that fuel, keep this guy going on tin. We'll go fetch some copper from this guy. And then we will supply our furnace here with more copper and coal. Just keep this manual production going for a little while. Okay, we need the tin plates. We've got plenty of tin ore or tin bars at this point. We're doing really good on tin bars. So let's see. Okay, that gets us 20. And then I know we need the uh, wire as well. And let's build more conveyors. See how many it lets us build. we doing we still have wire we have the plates let's see let's keep this guy going i'll grab that so right now we're just waiting on things to craft here in the bottom left corner pretty day now up on top of that hill we're on an island i believe and on top of that, there is a volcano. We will check that out in a later episode. I've never gone up there yet, but I believe there is a lava pit to see up at the top of that thing. So while we're waiting on things to craft, let's uh, just keep doing this manual harvesting. Hopefully it will save us time later. Getting a lot of tin bars out of there. That is nice. But let's make sure he has fuel. Close. I think we're getting closer to bridging these two things. 
just don't know if we need some kind of support material here. Why don't I go grab some stone while we're waiting for that stuff to craft there in the bottom left of the screen. I'm going to grab some stone here and hopefully, uh, let's see, I think I need to maybe just escape out of that. Okay, let's see. I need to be on an empty toolbar. I might need to be in an empty toolbar to harvest this stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna grab a bunch of this. This is infinite as far as I can tell. I'd like to get a miner over here so we can start building up like platform blocks, whether it's stone or rock or whatever it is, some way where we can uh, be able to lay down platforms and kind of level things off a little bit easier. Then we won't have to worry about so much of the up and down conveyors. I mean, there's always going to be some of that because it's a, just a hilly terrain where we're at, but let's grab a few more of these. Let's get it up to 60. We're almost there. Boom, boom, boom. Sure. All right. We can do some more crafting. I'm going to swipe copper. And here, grab this and refill. Pound out more of these. Pound out more of these. And then grab more conveyors if we can. See what it lets us do and then let's see if we can construct some more rocks now i grabbed a bunch of stones maybe i should have crafted these first all right let's go check our data cubes while things are crafting in our inventory Got one. And then what is this up to, I wonder? Okay, 28 left on this current data cube. <laughs> it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. So we'll pop our one data cube in here. Let that do its thing. That gets us up to seven. Let's just see. Sending data report. And boom, seven. Cool. All right, I'm just keeping an eye on the bottom left here. We're starting to construct those rocks, and that's what we need so that we can lay our conveyors down a little bit easier. And keep that filled up. All right, we're getting into nighttime here. Let's see. This is where I wanted to kind of level the land a little bit. Let me go into my inventory. I know there's better ways to do this with the uh, toolbars. I'm not making good use of the toolbars. Or the hot bar, the multiple hot bars. So let's see. Are they going to let me do this? Let's get this guy coming out. Boom. Okay, that is right. That is right. That is right. Okay. Now we're going to need to build up a little bit, I think. There and there. And there. And let's more belts down. Uh, that is the direction I think we want. Okay, we are getting real close now. Let's uh, pop a cube right there and a cube right there, and that may do it. Let's see if we have enough belts to pull this off. Boom. Rotate, boom, and boom. Oh, here we go. This is the test, and this is another game where you can stand on the belts and you're not going to move with them. Uh, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. 
Factory. Some games, Factorio, and I believe um, Satisfactory as well. When you stand on the belts, you start moving. And that, that can be used. I mean, that can be used in a way that's advantageous. But uh, it's also nice not to be moving sometimes when you're trying to build something and you're standing on a belt <laughs> to get into position. Let's just see if we can start feeding our furnace automatically. This will be one small step to getting our tin automated. We're probably gonna need to go get more of those stones because I'd like to continue to build this platform out. We're gonna definitely need another inserter. Let's see what our inventory shows. No inserters, we'll have to go get some of those. We can empty this guy out manually for now. Let me escape out of that, whoops. Oh, check this out, choose a pattern. I just right, I just right clicked here. And now I'm not sure how to get off of that. Okay, I just hit escape. What I wanna do is, uh, yeah, fetch this tin. All right, we're inserting coal. We're in good shape now. We <laughs> keep getting that. We're in good shape now. So let's see if that coal, yep. All right, so now we have um, now we have uh, tin ingots, at least, automated. <laughs> what we could do is pull those out the back and feed them into a uh, molecular analyzer <laughs> as well uh, as move those into an anvil for, or no, and um, what is it, our constructor for creating tin plates. Let's first do the tin plates. So we need another inserter to pull stuff out and I guess put those straight into our constructor. So let's drop the constructor. We have it here, boom. Just pop it there and we'll come here. Whoop. Right here. And I'm thinking we can just use an inserter right next to this guy. So let's go build one. While I'm up here, I'm gonna grab some coal. We don't need to feed the furnace that's doing the tin, but we still need to manually feed the one down here that we have doing copper. And speaking of copper, let me go fetch some nuggets out of this. We'll keep this guy kind of going on copper. There's your coal, there's your copper. In fact, there's some more copper. And we said we needed an inserter. Let's see if we can grab that. Where is that? Did I just pass it? Yeah. One, we can probably make two. And we don't need belts, but we're gonna need another container. I wanna store off the completed ones. I've got two inserters. That should do it. And we're gonna need more. How many, how are we doing on the blocks? Lumber, we've only got, oh, two loam. Did we use up all our stone blocks? I think we did. I think we're gonna need to set up a miner or maybe that's the next thing we automate are those platforms. Tom, when I say platforms, I guess I mean this rock. I just want some kind of material where I can build out a level surface. And that way we don't have to mess around with the up and down sloped conveyors quite as much and it just won't be quite as messy looking. So we're gonna need more of that. Let's go get some stone. And then we're almost, almost there with our tin plate automation. And we'll at least have a little supply in a copper storage box that we can go to for tin plates. Okay, I'm just gonna move to an empty slot on my hot bar and harvest some stones. We'll probably do the same thing. We'll take it up to like 50 or something. We'll build some more stone blocks that allow us to build the platforms, like I mentioned, for a level, level area. Right now we've got the copper ore is still being analyzed, but it takes a whole lot now for each data cube. So data cubes are coming slow. And again, I think the next thing we'll research is that iron, iron processing, I believe it was. And there are iron deposits. I don't know if we've seen one yet in this Let's Play. 
think in my early playthrough or early uh, couple hours playing, I did see iron deposits and it's separate from the tin. So those are two different materials. All right, we're at 42. Let's see if we can get to 50. All right, we're there. Let's head back. Satellite dish is a is a cool looking landmark. And I spoke to the developer over Discord uh, yesterday as I record this and uh, said it might look cool to have a couple of lights on there or something at night. A couple of lights blinking or something. What might make it look cool at night? Because these torches, I think, look pretty cool. Anyway, all right, let's go get our rocks built, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And those, and then let's head up and see if we can't get our tin plates done. Yeah, we definitely needed the rock. So let's uh, pop those down, extend this out a little bit. Now it's voxel world. So these are going to look a little blocky. These aren't the square. This isn't the square voxel style. This is the one where it's a little more tapered, but you can get flat surfaces as you start to build more, uh, build up. But right now this little pointy layer here is all we need. So until we've got the uh, rocks automated, uh, I'm going to go with that, even if it's a little goofy looking. So let's just drop that guy down and pop down an inserter right there. And we want that to go. Oh, we want one here as well. Boom. Now I'm hoping if we pick a recipe and we may have to power this guy up, let's pick tin plates. There it goes. Oh boy. It'd be nice if this didn't need power. I think it does though. It says network power. Okay. Here come our bars. All right. Let's wire it up. I'm going to grab another power pole because you can only have so many connections to a power pole. Let's see, I have those on here somewhere. There we go. Right here. And hopefully I've got some copper wire on me. I'm going to put it back this way. And then let me just look and see if I've got a toolbar that's got copper wire. Oh, we don't have copper wire. Let's go craft some up. Once again, we'll go fetch coal. We won't have to do this forever, I promise. Let's go grab these tin bars for now, just so we have some on hand. I don't need to grab that tin. We're smelting it automatically now, but I will grab copper until we get that automated. Boom. Come over here, make sure this guy is fully loaded. And then we'll make some wire, a bunch of that. And then we can wire up our power pole, wire up our constructor. And while that wire is crafting, I thought we built a copper box. Let's just see if we have it in here. There it is, copper container. And let's go ahead and plop that guy down. Boom, we'll make it look pretty a little bit later. But for now, that works. That's all on a level surface. Now we just need to connect up the power. So let's do that. So I'll select it and I'll click the pole, connect the pole. And I think I need to select it again, click the pole and now click our constructor. And we should look at that. Look at that mission accomplished a small victory, but a significant victory. <laughs> so that's all automated, right? The coal's coming in, the ore is coming in, it's being fed to a constructor, and now we don't have to build tin plates by hand. We'll see how much, how high those stack. Um, and at some point, well, we'll just have to see how things go. But, uh, you know, we can feed, there's a bunch of stuff here we can be feeding into molecular analyzers, right? We've got the coal can go. The tin ore can go, the tin bars can go into the molecular analyzer, as can these uh, tin plates. 
So, you know, eventually we're going to be setting up a lot of molecular analyzers, I believe. And I'm not sure how far the research tree goes. Uh, I talked to the developer about the research tree a little bit over Discord, but I kind of don't want to know. You know, I kind of like the idea of having to uncover it as you go. I think that's kind of neat. One suggestion I made is that maybe he could put, um, you know, two out of 50 or something or two out of 30 research completed. So you don't, you don't get to see what's coming, but you know, you've got 30 more to go or you know how far. So you're not, you know, surprised all at once when the research ends. But uh, I kind of like the idea of not being able to see the tech tree and only being able to see the things that you, uh, that you have coming up. I don't know. It's different. Maybe that's why I like it. It's just, uh, it just leaves leaves a little bit to be surprised, you know, as you as you continue to play the game. All right, so what do we got going here? We've got no data cubes, so it is taking so many now. Oh, well, did you see that? One hundred and twelve uh, was one of them. Let's see. Well, at least when I came in here, it said one hundred twelve. Oh, one hundred ninety five until the next data cube. So you can see it is slower and slower by a large, large margin. Now, I don't know if, um, I don't know if depending on the material that you're researching, if it degrades, if the declining returns or diminishing returns are faster with just the raw ore than they would be if I sent like tin plates, which require a couple processing steps. I don't know. We'll find out as we play, but we are slowly getting data cubes and, uh, yeah, we'll just see. You know, right now it's, this is all pretty much running on its own. It's all powered, the power, we've got the power generation automated, at least for our current power needs. We automated tin plates. Next, I think I want to do those rocks. So that'll be an, an automatic miner way over there by the rocks. We'll have to run some power poles. And then eventually we may need to think about more power generation, but I think we're good for now. We can always stack more um, of these combustion generators, I think, get a row of those going. But for right now, let's call this an episode. We accomplished our goal of at least automating something, the tin plates. We got a few more data cubes in the process, but that's going to you know, continue to slow down dramatically. We kind of hand babysat our our uh, copper smelting here, which is suboptimal. That may, maybe that's one of the things we do next. Um, but I do want to get those rocks going because uh, I like the ability to kind of make things a little bit flatter as we build out like we did with this conveyor line. All right, well, that's it for now. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would definitely appreciate that. Check out the other factory games we have on the GliderCat channel. There's several to choose from at this point and more on the way. And for now, this is GliderCat signing off saying thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.